Football season has started. Hashtag tailgate in life. We are making crab rolls and crab cakes because we're in the Pacific Northwest and it's all about seafood. This is a collaboration that was put together by two great guys over at Just Cook the Damn Food, Richard and George. They said, you know what? Think about your football team. Who is your football team? Well here, Seattle Seahawks. It's all about the Hawks, baby. So we are making two different tailgating dishes. The first one we're working on right now is we're gonna whip up some little crab cakes. So I am just chopping up some crab. This is just some crab legs because I like the color of it much more so than the color you get from lump crab. I love the red vibrancy that we get here. And we're gonna chop this up really small for those crab cakes and into our bowl. Also got a little bit of celery. You wanna chop it up really fine so that you don't get big chunks of celery in that crab cake. We were gonna be doing this tailgate style outside by the tailgate just like you would, but we've got a fire right now raging in our Olympic mountains about 18 miles from here. So the air quality outside is not very good, nor is the lighting. Just fine little pieces like that. That's what we're going for. We're gonna add that right into the bowl and some shallots. Now the shallot is also gonna be used in our other dish that we'll be cooking up today. So we're only gonna use half of it. But don't worry, these little bits don't go to waste. They go into my baggie to make up an amazing stock when it's time. And with this as well, just fine little pieces. If you don't have shallot and all you have is onion, you can certainly use an onion in this recipe, it's okay. I just like the flavor of shallots. I like to mix it up every once in a while and fine little pieces again and into the bowl. Into that bowl, we are also going to add some lemon zest. Again, remember just the yellow part. Don't go down to the white part. Otherwise it's just gonna end up being a little bitter. You just wanna get that vibrant yellow. And we've got some chives and some Old Bay seasoning because you know the rules. Anytime there's seafood, you gotta use the Old Bay. Next, let's do our breadcrumbs right on in there an egg. I'm going to crack the egg though into a different dish so I don't get an eggshell. And in there it goes. Some mayonnaise. This just helps kind of keep it a little more tender, those rice, those fish cakes, crab cakes, crab cakes. Just adds a little bit of moisture to them. You want to make sure and mix it up really well. All right. We've got a skillet going for these. We're just going to do a shallow fry. It's going to kind of get them and form them on here. And then we're just going to put them right on in there. Just like that perfect size little half dollars silver dollars let's get our second dish going make sure and keep an eye though on those little guys right there so they don't burn but this one that we're making we are now going to make a crab roll it's like a lobster roll but with crab it's another popular seahawk tailgating dish we're just going to chop up some of this crab we're not gonna put that in the bowl though. Shove that to the side because that's gonna go in last. But let's get our shallot cut up now into just nice bite-sized tiny little minced pieces again. And this is gonna go into this bowl, some celery. Now remember our crab is fully cooked. So those are not gonna take long. Basically what we're doing is just browning them up and cooking out the breadcrumbs and the egg. So let's go ahead and give them a quick look at. Oh, we're good to go. Let's go ahead and flip them. Back to our celery. Again, just tiny little pieces and into that bowl with those onions or that shallot, I guess. Oh, those look great. Let's go ahead and take this batch out and we'll get another batch started. We're gonna take it to a drying rack or to a cooling rack, I guess it's called. You don't wanna put them right onto a plate because otherwise they will get a little soggy on the bottom. You wanna allow the air to kind of move around them. So a cooling rack is the perfect place to go. All right, back to our sandwich. <laughs> a little lemon zest into this. We've also got some chives and some Old Bay that's gonna go in there as well. We've got some hot sauce. Just add a little bit of heat to this dish. Not a lot, just a little lemon juice. And last, some mayonnaise. And we're gonna mix. The reason you wanna mix this up before we put the crab in is because we don't want the crab to break down. You wanna have those big glorious chunks of crab in there. Gently fold the crab in so as not to break it up. You're not looking to make like a tuna salad or an egg salad, anything like that. You want those big beautiful chunks of crab in that sandwich. Just, just like that. 
does not get any easier than that. But let's keep going. Let's make some room here. Now that we've got our crab cakes all bagged up and ready, let's construct our sandwich. We've got two beautiful rolls here. And basically we're making a little boat, little pocket. I'm not sure what you want to call it, but it's easier to eat it this way than to slice it open like a hot dog bun. Because if you slice it open like a hot dog bun, then, oh, that's going to become a meme. Ah! Your stuff will just fall out. This way you just make a little pocket right on in there. The bigger the pocket, the more deliciousness gets put in there. Let's get to stuffing. Ooh, and this is actually enough for probably three or four more, probably about three or four sandwiches total. And it didn't take much ingredients. It didn't cost much to do it, but pack it down in there. You want to get it down in there really tight because you want to get every single little nook and cranny so that you have a bite of crab in every single little bite that you take. Just like that. We have got a little bit of a drizzle sauce that I made to go on there. It's just mayonnaise, apple cider vinegar, some sugar, and a little bit of Mike's hot honey. We're just gonna drizzle it right over. This is just gonna add some more flavor to an already delicious dish. And a little bit of celery top. You can use parsley if that's what you have. I happen to have celery top because of the celery that I put into my sandwiches. And there you have it. That's it. Hashtag tailgate in life. Thank you. Just cook the damn food. Be sure to check out their channel. They're a great couple of guys. It's Richard and George. Thank you guys for this collaboration that you put together. Go Hawks. But that's enough yammering. There's nothing left to do but try it now. Start with one of our glorious little crab cakes. Look at that. It's a perfect size. You can carry this cup around with a beer in one hand and these in one hand. Mm. Oh, that is so full of crab. Mm. That lemon flavor really comes through. It's a great little appetizer to wet your whistle, but you know what? This is what I'm going for right here. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to open wide. That is absolutely fantastic. There is so much crab flavor in there. That Old Bay comes through. The shallot is there, but it's not as overpowering as like a red onion would be or anything like that. The celery, celery fronds, celery fuzz, celery hair, celery tops. I don't know what you call the celery part, that celery part. It makes such an incredible difference in the flavor of that, but there's nothing left to do but to thank you for watching this episode. Hit that subscribe if you haven't already. Give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out the other channels that are part of this collaboration that we've done for hashtag tailgating life. Let's get our football season started off on the right note. But as always, thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye. Take a bite of that sandwich, dude. That's so good.